One hundred days of summer sun. Come along because we're gonna have fun. Each week is new and fresh. Welcome, Mally V. Love guests. All right, me and Allison are going to make a cool DIY game for you guys, and we're going to do it uh, Fourth of July theme. So these are all our materials that we're using. We have an old t-shirt, rice, and some scissors, because we're going to make a bean bag out of this. We have our cans. We're going to paint these cans with this paint, red, white, and blue. And we got some paint brushes. Can't wait. All right, so I'm setting up for our game today that me and Allison are going to do for you guys. We have these cans here that we're going to paint and stack up. We're going to make them into really cool, funky, different stackings. And we're going to paint them red, white, and blue so it's 4th of July themed. Then with our rice and our t-shirt and our scissors, we're going to cut a square out of here to make a bean bag. And we're going to put the rice in and we're going to sew around it. And we're going to use the bean bag to throw it at the cans. So that way you guys can play a cool 4th of July game. Okay, on to our next DIY 4th of July game for you guys. We're going to do another beanbag toss, but instead of cans, we're going to do paper plates. So we have four paper plates here that me and Allison are going to paint for you guys. And then after we're painted, we're going to put numbers on them. This way, when you throw your beanbag, these are our paints. Again, we have the shirt and the scissors and the rice so we can make a beanbag. And when you throw your beanbag, it's going to go onto one of the paper plates, and we're going to put numbers on them for points. So, we're going to get started. Bye! Okay, so I am cutting out my square of my shirt um, from our beanbag. I don't really have a template or anything, so I'm kind of just freestyling. I'm pretty excited that these this shirt has stripes on it, because I can kind of just follow the stripes. So I think I'm just going to cut this much. And then, that seems to be about the size of a bean bag. So I'm going to cut down here. And then it's good that the shirt came like, folded like that, so I can just kind of use that. And then I'm going to sew here, sew here, fill it with the rice, and then I'm going to sew it closed. Alright, can't wait! You're on. <laughs> I am currently sewing my square so that way I can later fill it with sand. So I'm starting here. I'm going to sew here and here. This way I can put the sand in to there. Alright, so we just finished sewing the corners of our shirt. This is what it's going to look like when it's filled and I left this space open and I just sewed it up so we're gonna fill this with the rice and then we're gonna fill it up, uh, sew it up 